what will the price of gold be in the year 2030? Will we see the price crash down to a crazy low level? Or will the price continue to go up? And if so, how high can it go? We're going to see what some experts have to say. And also, I'm going to weigh in and give you my opinion. So, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's first off see what the so-called experts have to say about the price of gold, and then I'll give you my opinion. So I briefly skimmed over the article, and this one seems pretty legit. You know, this is six experts, they call them talking about what they think the price of gold will be in 2030. So, uh, you know, this article actually came out in April of 2019, so it's almost uh, three years old. However, um, you know, the price of gold when they wrote this article is actually really similar to where it's at today. So 1745 back then. Right now, it's, it's around 1800 bucks. So gold did go to an all-time high, and then, you know, it's, it's come down a bit since then. But, you know, a lot of people are saying we're pretty much at the bottom for gold and it's just going to go up from here. So anyway, I'm not going to bore you with this whole article. I want to I want to see who these experts are, because, you know, the thing is, how are you considered an expert in predicting a future price for gold? Right. I mean, like, who are these people? Um, so the first dude here, Brian Whitfield, president, CEO of Pacific Coin Exchange, I've never heard of them before. So I guess they are a coin dealer in Carlsbad, California. So, all right, coin dealer. Let's see what they have to say. Trading between $3,000 and $5,000 per ounce is what this guy is predicting. So uh, that that's interesting. Um, I kind of skimmed through it. And right here he says, I feel I am safe and being conservative in saying that gold should be trading between 3000 and 5000 per ounce in 10 years should the US dollar fail and or the US dollar loses the coveted global reserve currency status and or even the loss of the petrodollar gold could hit these levels far sooner all right that that's pretty interesting it's a troubling time for the dollar that is only going to get a lot worse I don't think that there has been any better time to own physical gold if for no other reason than for financial insurance so uh, this guy obviously he sells gold and he's he's saying it's a good time to own gold so you know I, I don't know this isn't a huge surprise to me I, I guess but honestly I think that this is a, a pretty reasonable prediction you know three thousand and five thousand per ounce I could see it absolutely I could see that so uh, all right next person here Stacy Caprio blogger uh, fiscal nerd okay I've never heard of fiscal nerd uh, either so I guess it's some blog but this is what she says I, I guess he or she I don't know uh, an all-time high okay so <laughs> uh, this person was right absolutely gold did go to an all-time high in fact a lot, a lot more recently than than 2030, uh, because again, this was written in 2019. So you know, very shortly after this was written, gold did hit an all-time high. But anyway, they said, I think gold prices will continue to increase to an all-time high by 2030. Gold has the advantage of being limited in quantity, while the dollar has the disadvantage of being printed at astronomically high rates. Yeah. So uh, basically, they're just saying, look, you know, inflation, right? Dollar is going to get weaker over time and gold will hold its value. And so I agree with that. Um, you know, they didn't give us a number, uh, which is interesting, but, you know, all time high. I guess that was a good prediction. <laughs> they were correct. OK, next one here. Uh, we got Everett Millman, Precious Metals Specialist Editor for Gainesville Coins. OK, this is the first one I actually have heard of Gainesville Coins. So um, another dealer here, but they're predicting 1500 per ounce, which is, this is crazy. Now I am assuming whoever wrote this article took this quote from them probably a few years before the article was written because they do say over the next 10 to 15 years. So it's possible in like 2015, they took this quote when gold price was a lot lower than it is right now. 
Um, so we're not going to really go over this one, but they do say we can certainly expect the gold price to clear 1500 per ounce by 2030 and perhaps trade as high as 1700 an ounce over that period. Wow, 1700 an ounce for gold. Yeah, we've already blown past that. So I suppose they could have said this five, six years ago, but still, uh, you'd think they'd be a little bit more bullish than that. But you have to remember back in 2016, 17, 18, you know, people were not talking about precious metals. And gold was down to, what, $1,200 an ounce? So anyway, let's move on to this one here. It's uh, uh, Marie Geraldine, CEO of Gardens of the Sun. Okay, so this is their website, and they literally sell jewelry. So, wow, I have no idea how this person is considered an expert. Um, you know, I guess there are no experts, but they have an opinion, so whatever they talk about phasing out mercury which again i don't really know what this has to do with the price of gold but anyway they say uh i'd like to suggest that phasing out mercury from the gold supply chains may impact the price there is pressure from consumers and jewelers to no longer use mercury when mining smelting or refining gold high levels of mercury use can have a devastating effect on health and lead to stillbirths um etc so you know <laughs> I, I don't know how much this would have an effect on the price of gold, but, uh, you know, I get it. She's a jeweler, and, and that's what she wants to talk about. So we're going to just skip that one. Um, all right, here we go. 1,500 an ounce or more, <laughs> and maybe more, all right? This is Mo Zolfigar, I think, senior analyst of Lombardi Letter. All right, now we're talking. Obviously, Lombardi Letter, you know, way more legit than some of the other people they've uh, they've interviewed, I guess, for this article. Um, yeah, I think Lombardi Letter has been around since like the 80s, putting out uh, investment uh, news articles and stuff like that. So I'm really curious, uh, you know, what they actually say here. But 5,000 an ounce or more. Okay, if you're not looking at gold, you could be kicking yourself later. It wouldn't be shocking to see gold at 5,000 an ounce or more by 2030. There are too many good things happening for gold, and in the next decade, they could really give the yellow metal a boost. Reckless government spending across the globe, central banks buying gold, gold grades in the ground diminishing, exploration spending dropping, and the list goes on. So, all right, you know, I think some of the things they talk about here, <laughs> reckless government spending across the globe, yeah, that could have a huge impact. Uh, central banks obviously buying up gold. Um, so I think they make a pretty good point there. I could definitely see 5,000 an ounce uh, by 2030. So anyway, really interesting predictions in this article. Um, I guess they range from 1,500 to 5,000 an ounce. Um, now let me talk about what I think is going to happen. Now, first of all, disclaimer, I'm just another dude here on YouTube that loves precious metals. So what do I know about the price of gold and where it's headed? I mean, I'm not considered an expert, I don't think, at least not more or less of an expert than these other people. The bottom line is no one really knows. All we can do is look at what's happened in the past and then sort of guess what we think will happen moving forward. Now, that being said, here's what I think. I think that traditionally gold has gone up when interest rates go up. And I think that over the next few years, $3,000 gold is not out of the question. But where do we go from there? I mean, if the government continues to spend money like they are, then $5,000 gold I don't think is out of the question either. Could it go to $10,000? I don't know. It really depends on what happens to the dollar. I think that's the biggest thing that will have an impact on the price of gold. Where is inflation going from here? Is it gonna settle down? I mean, what's it gonna do? I think there are so many factors that it's really hard to accurately guess what will happen. But honestly, what I think is more important than predicting the price is understanding what gold is, why you should be buying it. I think that everyone should have gold as part of their portfolio. It's really important to protect yourself and obviously don't put all your money into gold, but a portion of your portfolio should be in gold and silver. So I think the best thing you can do is try and research gold more, get more information, figure out for yourself what you think is going to happen. I know that 
bottom line, even if gold doesn't go to $5,000 by 2030, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to keep stacking it through the 20s, through the 30s, as long as I realistically can. So anyway, I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any predictions and you want to put them down in the comment section, feel free to do so. And I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons out.